Pinka's partnership with USDA has been very strategic and critical to our ability to reach one of the most underserved constituencies in developing countries, farmers and entrepreneurs working in the agricultural sector. The Food for Progress program and the partnership that we have with USDA really was targeting at creating and supporting Finca's outreach in the rural communities, specifically focusing on women and helping them develop uh, themselves economically through economic activities like agriculture. A number of women have been supported in ag-related activities, be them cash crops, be them food crops, be them also activities like farming, chicken farming and chicken rearing, pig rearing. Tuli balunzi ba nkoko, enkoko tuzimaze mu emyaka 10 nga tulunda. Obulamu bwachu kabwe nafuna loan mu Food for Progress. Obulamu ne buchiuka. Okusobola okuwerera abana, okongera ku business zaffe ne ne biyumba etuletu no kulimane tukula ne buproti. Tusobola kubanga tuyongera mutongera amanyi mu mirimu jaffe. The needs just keep growing every day and we're trying to live up to the expectations of our clients and through the financial literacy that we have, through the partners that we have, really try and support both the economic but also the social side of how they run their businesses. Our demand for the raw material is growing. That gap can only be filled by a good working partner like Finca. I hope that the Food for Progress program, which has been a good program, continues. Because it was a new program, a bigger population is not yet taken care of. The total population registered to us who wants to pass through the activity is 10,000 farmers. I'm seeing it as coming to be a farmer's bank in the making. Economically speaking, we have seen businesses grow from small domestic homesteads to now being able to supply uh, to big corporations. And for us, that is a big deal because it then creates financial sustainability, it creates independence, and also it creates then an opportunity for people to diversify. And I mean, this could not have been possible again without the funding from USDA. <laughs>